how will carbon neutrality affect our future if we can achieve this transformation smoothly, yeah. gradually? Once we get there, yeah. in ideal world, yeah. what does the picture look like? The picture <laughs> looks very bright. The only mm. thing that needs to change is actually the energy supply. Mm. So that if you just rebuild the whole energy supply, the coal, oil and gas driven part, and rebuild it into sun and wind and other renewable uh, capacity, that's the main difference. You know, whether the steel works mm -hmm. is fed then by CO2 intensive energy mm -hmm. or fed by renewable energy. Mm -hmm. Clean energy. Doesn't, uh, mm -hmm. Clean energy doesn't matter from mm -hmm. the point of view of those who work and own and profit from the steel work. Mm -hmm. But it is the huge difference mm -hmm. from the point of view of climate. Right. Professor Randers, would you say there is now global consensus on this issue, if there is global consensus, uh, some governments are still resistant on taking comprehensive action to make changes. Sad to say, in mm. spite of my huge effort over 50 years and all my friends who have tried to make people understand that this is serious, we have not succeeded. So there is widespread skepticism Mm. among people and as a consequence 